Hello everyone. For today's class, I would like to give a tutorial about how to calculate bubble point and chip point calculation and how to uh, calculate Excel and then how to make the graph, for example, P, uh, PXY diagram or TXY diagram. Right, so uh, I'm gonna start um, explaining about G point and bubble point calculation. And today we're gonna use Rolf's law. So the difference with Rolf's law and modified Rolf's law, uh, for Rolf's law, we actually identify that the gas is ideal or the, the vapor is ideal and the liquid is also ideal. So it's using ideal vapor and also ideal liquid. So although the vapor liquid equilibrium problem with other combination of variables are possible, engineering interest of a center on dew point and bubble point calculation, which is there are four types. The first one is called a bubble pressure calculation, where you have the Xi in saturated liquid, and you also you have the temperature, and you have to calculate the um, vapor composition that is equilibrium with the liquid composition, and also the pressure. For dew point um, pressure or dew pressure, uh, we have the vapor uh, pressure of uh, the vapor, um, the vapor, uh, the mole vapor or the YA and for the temperature and we want to find the um, liquid mole fraction that is equilibrium in the vapor and also the pressure of the system. For the bubble temperature, um, we have the pressure and then you have to find the temperature as well as the um, vapor mole, mole fraction that is equilibrium with the X. And also for the G temperature, um, it's given Y, I, and P, and you have to calculate the temperature as well as the mole fraction of the liquid. Right, so the first one, um, let's have a look about what we will see. Um, in the case, we will use the acetone trial as a compound number one and the nitromethane for compound number two. So in the first case, it is a bubble pressure, which is we want to calculate the YI or the vapor, so the mole fraction of the vapor and also the pressure of the system when we have the mole fraction of the liquid and also the temperature. Okay, so in this green um, cell, I put the temperature, uh, which is uh, it is known and that it has been determined from the problem, which is 75 degrees Celsius. The first calculation that we need to calculate is to find the PI, PI set. In this case, it's P1 set and P2 set. In this case, P1 set is the, the uh, saturated pressure of acetone trial at 75 degrees Celsius. And P2 set is the a saturated pressure of the nitromethane compound number two at 75 degrees Celsius. To calculate the PI set or the P1 set, you if you will you cut the the formula here. It's actually we use it from Antoine equation. There, so in the Antoine uh, in the Antoine equation there are uh, uh, the constant a, b, and c, and then um give me um let's put it to here. So this is the equation for. Uh, Antoine equation where ln p set in kPa equal to a minus b divided by t plus c. So you can get the value for Antoine equation either in Reclitis book or in uh, Wilson Fanes book, also in some appendix. Okay, so um, let's say for acetone trial, you get the number for a and also the b and also the c there and then uh, put it, put it in there. Okay. Okay. So, and after that, okay. And after that, the next one is, so once you ca just calculate with that one. So here I calculated with this, uh, equation. Okay. So then, uh, I got the P1 set and also P2 set. Okay. So let's uh, have a look about the 
how to calculate bubble pressure or bubble uh, which is the the pressure at saturated liquid because um bubble pressure is actually condition when it is saturated liquid so that that we that we know is actually the temperature and the x or mole fraction of the uh, liquid let's say let's put one side first for example this case just look at the number um wait maybe put it like this one okay like let's put it only uh this uh make it bold yeah just look at this line okay let's say so i'm gonna uh, explain one by one uh, from through each uh, row and then after that let's calculate it to another row so for bubble pressure what you have is the x uh, x1 okay so you can collate the bubble pressure by using this formula or uh, sigma xi pi set so you know the pi set p1 set and also p2 set so you can actually get the uh, pressure of the system straight away by uh, by actually putting the x x1 multiply what uh, pi p1 set and x2 or 1 minus x1 multiply with p2 set so it's real straightforward you get all the numbers and then so you get the, your bubble pressure Okay, so then your bubble pressure is done. The next one is to get the mole fraction of the vapor that is in equilibrium with this mole fraction of the liquid. If you have a mole fraction of liquid is 0.1, what is your uh, vapor, mole fraction of your vapor that is in equilibrium with your liquid at 0.1? So here we can use this formula where y1 equal to x1 multiplied with p1 set divided by p. So you know the uh, x, uh, x1 from just uh, guess one. Uh, I'll, I'll put it like plus 0 0.1 like this one. And then you have the pi set. And also now you have the p of the system. So you can straight away get the y1 over here. See, so then I can this one. If you want to add one more um, uh measurement is called ki or k value which is actually the ratio of y1 uh, divided by x1 so for k1 equal to y1 divided by x1 which is this one i just divide this uh y one for this blue one the the blue box and also the red one which is the this one so this and this is your uh ki one Okay, so so there you are. <clears throat> so when uh so this is gonna be your uh x. Okay, so now uh let's have a look. Yeah, so that's okay. So that is the number one, so this is the okay one. And then, uh, and once you uh, got this one, you can sort it using uh, your, uh, like that one. So let, let me uh, delete that one first, maybe like that. And then I'll put 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and then I'll just sort it out. So just sort it out and then make sure that you put this dollar dollar for the the number that is uh, really uh which is uh the same yeah for for the p one set and p two set so then you can just sort it all the bubble pressure and also oh sorry this should be zero point four so I think I should I should sort it like this way that's it this one so you can get uh, your bubble pressure and also you get the and the y i okay if uh then then make you can make straight away the p x y looks like this one so this actually is your bubble pressure when you have a liquid and then you want to start to have a vapor over here so then this is your bubble pressure and then you also have this is the g pressure so this bubble pressure tells you the all the the number of the x so this is the actually the the x 
and the bubble, a ju the P bubble, the jupe pressure tell you the composition of the Y or mole fraction of the vapor. So that means in any type of um, a temperature or sorry, a pressure for this one, uh, maybe I'll shoot, I think I put a little bit of typo, so I would just uh, delay this one a bit. Pressure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, when you have this composition, let's say you have you have x is zero point seven, then it actually will be equilibrium with around zero point sixty uh eighty two for a similar temperature. With the temperature also, so the the pressure for this case is around seventy something. Okay, so there you are. That is your first case about bubble pressure. Okay, so now um, let's uh, move into bubble, uh, not the bubble pressure, but for dew pressure. Okay, so this one. So for dew pressure, what you have, uh, you have a condition at a saturated vapor. So the uh, composition that you know is a saturated vapor, which is YI, or in this case is Y1. Okay, so I, I make a, a, I sort it out from zero to one, and then let's have a look about this uh, again. Maybe just only look at this row. And then you can calculate to the next row using the sorted out and then make sure your formula is right. Okay, to get the dew pressure, uh, you, 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 you need to use this formula where P is equal to one over sigma um, yi divided by uh, gamma i, if any, um, P i set. In this case, the gamma is, is equal to one because we consider um, as a neutral and nitromethane as the ideal solution. Okay, so from this calculation here, uh, which is one over y i divided by uh, the red one is this one p i set plus x two, which is one minus um one minus x one divided by p two set. Yeah, so it's basically the same and. And this is my calculation. This is the G pressure. Okay. Once you have your G pressure, then you can calculate your X1 using this this formula as well. Yeah, so you can get the X1 equal to Y1 multiplied with P divided by P1 set. So I, I did that, like this one, which is the Y1 multiplied with the, the P that I got from for the G P and defined by the uh, PI set like that one, okay? And then there you go. And then you can also calculate your K1 also like this one. <clears throat> okay, so if you want, if you uh, still want to make um, uh, a graph for to get uh, PXY from dew pressure, it's also, you also can, so let's try it. So let's make, um the chart or maybe not that one um uh, maybe from dew pressure and also this one let's make a graph quickly make the graph maybe over here let's just put it like that one so this is actually your dew pressure Okay, so this is your your dew pressure when you have a set a vapor and then you want to go to the um the liquid area, and then you can maybe add one more by select data, and don't forget to write this one as a dew uh, pressure, uh, and also I, I will add one more which is uh bubble pressure. And I want to use the bubble pressure from this value, which is the K, the X1 that I got from the calculation. Uh, and for the Y also is still the pressure that I got, that one. And then, okay, 
So here it would be looks like this one. And then after that, what you need to do, you can just make sure to uh, make it easy. For example, uh, format the the axis, the horizontal axis on the uh, 0 to 1. And also the major uh, unit is 0 0.1 like that, or maybe 0 0.2. Yeah. Okay. And then for your vertical axis, maybe let's start from not zero, but from let's say 35. Okay. I like, we like that one. And maybe make a, um, let's say, um, border, solid line, and then a little bit bigger, maybe. Okay, and then uh, also make, you can change the chart type. You can change the chart type like this one. So you will have the same with that one. So even using uh, this one from bubble pressure or using G pressure, you will get essentially the same of the chart. Okay, and then, then you can add uh, nice, a quick layout, for example, and then you may, you may want to add the composition x one y one and access title, which is uh in kp. Okay, and then uh, would it like that one? So I think to make it a good, nice graph would be uh, important. Oh, so, yeah. So yeah, but that's essentially quite the same. Can then you can, can, you can make a chart title, which is P, X, Y, at um, pressure of maybe at 75 degrees Celsius. Okay. So there you go. This is your um, bubble pressure and for a saturated liquid and dew pressure at saturated vapor. Okay, I think um, this would be the increment uh, video for, for tutorial for bubble pressure and dew pressure calculation. And I will uh, continue about the bubble temperature and dew temperature at different video. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.